Hey everyone, I'm Fantasy Dancer and welcome to the 10th week of our Dream Bar build. Today we're making a very popular summer cocktail, the Mojito. Now the Mojito is a traditional highball from Cuba and it's one of their oldest cocktails with a history that no one can quite agree on. One popular version dates back to the 16th century with Sir Francis Drake and his crew. They were suffering from scurvy and dysentery and sought out the locals for one of their remedies. They brought the ingredients back to the ship and made the El Drac. It was primarily a medicinal drink made from a crude form of rum whose name I would probably butcher so I'll pop it on the screen at the bottom here. Lime, mint, and sugarcane juice. Now this is the first known combination of these mojito-like ingredients and the drink itself remained popular in Cuba afterwards. The mojito as we know it today, however, is mostly thanks to Bacardi Company in the 1800s. They made an altered variation of the recipe and used it to promote their own rum. And because of them, mojito is as popular as it is today. So to start, we're gonna use an ounce and a half of our light rum. And interesting thing with the mojito, the name actually comes from mojo, which is a Cuban seasoning made from lime. Makes sense, right? Next up, we have an ounce of our lime juice. Fresh lime is best. Pop that in there. Two sugar cubes. And the ingredient that really makes it a mojito is our mint. I'm using about six mint leaves today because mine are pretty large, like that's a pretty big leaf. You can use up to eight if they're a little bit smaller just to get that same sort of flavor. And we're gonna muddle that with the muddler I forgot, so we're gonna try with our straw here just to squash the sugar cubes up really. And you don't wanna tear the leaves, just bruise them a little bit, get those oils out. All right, that looks good. So we're going to add some ice and shake it up. So you want to shake it till the sugar's all, pretty much dissolved and it's got a nice frosty layer on the tray shaker here. And definitely double strain this one or it'll help prevent some of the mint bits from getting in there. I don't know if you can see those guys. We don't want those in our drink. All right, next up, we get to top it off with some club soda here. Now you could probably use about two ounces, but if you're using a Collins glass, just fill it to the top. Just like that. Okay. To garnish, we've got two lime wedges. I'm gonna pop those in there. And our mint garnish. You wanna give this a little clap? just like that, and that'll help release some of the oils, so that's what you smell when you first take a sip. I'm gonna add our straw and try not to spill. Oop, too late. And see how it tastes. Very refreshing. Definitely lime forward. You get a little bit of bitterness from the mint, so it keeps it from being overly sweet. Just love that smell. But yes, it's a very delicious, very light summer cocktail. So for this, we used an ounce and a half of our light rum, an ounce of lime juice, two sugar cubes, and about six mint leaves, and topped it off with our club soda. I hope you like this video and enjoy the drink. Subscribe to follow along as we build our dream bar and please drink responsibly.